I went from being this kind of crazy street artist to pretty much just being like a Hudson Valley scenic painter, <laughs> you know, with my little twist in there, but still. My name is Ron English, and I'm an artist. Right now, I am in Shoreditch at a place called Box Park. And today, I'm painting a mural in support of a print that we were releasing called Camo Deer Autumn. Well, um, over the years, a lot of my art has been about uh, branding and pop culture and advertising culture. A few years ago, I moved upstate New York, and it's a lot more rural and a lot more, um, a lot more nature, which I wasn't used to in New York City. So I think that the nature is kind of creeping a bit into my art. And the concept, the concept behind camo deer was. Well, you know, like I see these deer everywhere, and then, the, and then I also see the hunters, and the hunters are all wearing camo, and it kind of occurred to me that maybe, maybe it should be the deer wearing camo because nobody's shooting at the hunters. Well, I think that um, street art is the first global art movement, authentically global art movement, and it's also the first inclusive art movement. For the most part, like the art world has been for, you know, the, the elites or the, you know, the very wealthy. And, you know, maybe there was a time in the 80s when they kind of let in a lot of kids from the Bronx that did graffiti, but they kind of kicked them out really quick, too. You know, I actually haven't figured out who, who branded it street art because it was graffiti before and, uh, you know, but graffiti is a different culture than street art. Graffiti is, you know, kind of writing your name and it's about, like, stylizing your name and it's, it's a whole different thing and there have always been street artists you know I was a street artist Keith Haring was a street artist and um, but at some point and nobody's able to tell me this who rebranded it it was a Jeffrey Deitch I don't know who but somebody rebranded the phenomena as street art and then it, it separated it from graffiti that was associated with gangs and made a lot of people really nervous street art created the opposite effect where people you know have told me oh I just feel so safe when I, I look around I see art everywhere in the neighborhood I feel like this is a great neighborhood to be in but something changed. Somebody rebranded it and it, it created, it opened it up the, the floodgates. You know, it's probably the Brits, I don't know. Well, I think, I think, you know, for me, art has been this kind of magic passport to the whole world. And, uh, you know, before I was really known as an artist, I traveled a lot and, you know, I kind of slept in the bushes or whatever I had to do to get to places. But uh, once, like, especially once the street art thing kicked off, then I got invited everywhere and picked up at the airport. Art's been amazing to me. I, I, I wouldn't have had the life I had if I had done anything else. I can't imagine. <laughs>